In this video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to rename your NetBeans project if you made a mistake naming it when you created it in NetBeans. Now, I've received this file from a student, and it looks like it's named properly. But when I extract it, I see that there's a folder named correctly, but the project folder is not named correctly. If I open this up in NetBeans, let's just make sure we're in the right spot. So here's that folder that I just unzipped. Everything looks okay, but when I get here, this is the name of the project. It's named My Calculator. It should be named Unit 1 or U1 L8 for Lesson 8 dash and then My Calculator. So let's go ahead and open this up. I can also see that under the source packages, we have an extra package here that's not being used. You shouldn't have any extra packages or classes kicking around that you're not using. So I'm just going to right click on that and select delete. And yes, I'm sure. Now I'm going to go in and take a look at the code. Again, this is something that a student has submitted. So let's take a look here and let's see where submarks could be lost. Right here in the header of the code, you should have your name, the date, the assignment, and a short description of what the assignment's all about. The documentation doesn't look too bad, so that's good. Um, when I go ahead and run this program, let's see what happens. Well, it looks like we have all kinds of exceptions in here, and the exceptions are being thrown because NetBeans can't find or can't load the main class and it's looking for uh, my calculator my calculator and you can see that the package is not named my calculator and nor is the class so probably what's causing the problem is the student has renamed either the package or the class or both uh, and NetBeans just doesn't know where to find that main now this is a real easy problem to fix all we need to do is right click on the project name go to properties look for run and now where it says main class, click on browse and most likely the main is going to pop up for you and all you have to do is click select main class. If I do that and now I try to run the program, you'll see that I don't have any exceptions being thrown and I'm up and running without any issues. All right, I can see that right up here, the project is named my calculator and that is not what it should be named. Instead of recreating all of this code and typing it in, all you need to do is right click on the project name, go down to rename, and enter in the proper name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change everything here. I'm going to change the display name, I'm going to change the artifact ID, and I'm also going to rename the folder or the project folder. As I said, this should be named U1L8 dash. And when we have more than one word together, we start off with a lowercase for the first word and then capitalize the beginning of each of the words following it. I'm going to copy this and paste and paste again. That looks great. And click OK. And you'll see that now my project is named correctly. And we will go back in and make sure that our project folder is named correctly as well too. Let's just make sure that everything's running before we exit and everything seems to be working properly so that's fantastic now let's go back and take a look and see what happened with our project folder so I'm going to go back into my instructions folder this is where I keep everything and I'm going to double click on this folder here that was extracted now remember the student had embedded this in a couple folders this is actually the project folder right here if I go up one level you can see that it's now named properly it's u1l8- dash my calculator okay now this is the file that I should be zipping up I don't really need to have this buried deep inside of folder after folder or directory after directory so this is what I'm actually going to right click and zip okay so right click and compress the zip file that's fantastic the zip file is named properly and it just has the project folder there I'm going to copy this or cut it out of there and I'm going to take it up to the top level or the root of my instruction. I'm going to right click and paste. Okay, and now I can get rid of all of this other stuff that I no longer need. Okay, so this is the file that I'm going to submit to my teacher. And when my teacher gets it, he's going to extract all. So let's go ahead and go through that process. You can see that the project folder is right here. 
is not buried in a bunch of directories, which is fantastic. This is exactly the way it should be. And when I go back into NetBeans, I can search for that folder. Okay, so I'm going to go into NetBeans, goes into your documents, and then into NetBeans. And I have this inside of my instructions directory. There's the project right there. And we're all set. The project is named correctly. I don't have any extra packages or classes. When I go in here, everything looks like it's documented properly, except for this uh, code header, if you want to call it that. And I also don't need this stuff up here either. So I would clean that out. All right, so now let's say that I've submitted this assignment to my teacher and he's marked it and gave me some feedback and suggested some ways that I could improve my grade. Instead of just renaming this the proper way for a resubmitted file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy. That way I'll still have my original project plus I'll also have the resubmitted project. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to right click on the project and instead of rename this time, I'm going to click on copy. Now, there's a bunch of things I have to clean up in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything in this field except for the project name. And when it comes to resubmitting your work, if you take a look at the course's home page under naming your projects, you'll see that everything's supposed to be named the same, but the only thing you're going to do is add dash resubmit to it. So I'm going to do that. So right here, I'm just going to go dash resubmit. That looks good. Now, where do I want this project to be saved? Well, I want it to be saved in my instructions directory, not inside this directory right here, which was the old project folder. So I'm going to get rid of everything there. And then the project folder name and everything is all getting set up for me. I can't edit anything in here. It's all based off of my project name and project location. So that's good. I'm going to click copy. Now, it looks like I do have a duplicate of my project and it's even named the same. And that's a bit of a problem because remember, going back to this naming your projects, we need to have resubmitted work named the unit, the lesson, the name of the assignment, and then dash resubmit. So now that we have a duplicate copy of our original project, let's right click on this and now let's rename it. So what I want to do is I want to add resubmit and I want to update everything to the new name. So I'm just going to copy everything in this first text field and I'm going to paste and I'm all set. Okay. And it says that that folder already exists. Let's just leave it like that so that it gets saved into that folder and we should be fine. Let's go into our file explorer and just make sure that we haven't created a new folder. I think everything's being saved right in here, but we will test that before I hand it in. So I'm just going to go up one level. Now you go through and you make any changes based on the feedback that you received from the teacher. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and close everything and make sure that I've got everything all set up. I think this is what I want to open. So let's go ahead and open up the project in this project folder here and make sure that it's named properly. So I'm going to go file and open project. And what I want to do is I want to go back into my instructions directory and I want to go into this U1L8 My Calculator resubmit. That's what I want to open up and it is named correctly. Everything looks good. Uh, and then I can go ahead and make any changes that I need to based on the feedback that my teacher gave. I hope this video has helped. Make sure that you're naming your projects correctly. This is part of your communication grade. These are marks that you shouldn't be losing easy marks to get. Just follow all the instructions on the course homepage under the announcement naming your projects.